All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is uh, almost as easy as the last one. It's just a little twist to it. So we're solving uh, linear systems by multiplying first. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Just don't, for, uh, you just uh, click the integrated math one link at the top. Okay, so in the last lesson, you guys, we could add these two equations together. 2x plus x is 3x, and then negative y and positive y, those would cancel out. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. So 3x equals 3 or x equals 1 and easily get the answer of 1 comma 1. Okay, so um, it was nice because the coefficients of y canceled out. Here we had a negative 1y and we had a positive 1y right there. So when they don't cancel out, then this lesson shows us how to multiply one of the equations or both uh, by some number to make them cancel out. So just think of least common multiple and that's what we'll do in this lesson. So we're going to solve each linear system using the elimination method. So we're going to multiply first. Here we go. So um, 6x plus 5y equals 19 and then 2x plus 3y equals 5. Okay, we can make these both 6x and negative 6x or make these both uh, 15y and negative 15y. Well, since that's already 6x, let's just make this one negative 6x. And we can make this a negative if we multiply it by negative 3. So let's multiply the whole equation times negative 3. This times negative 3, this times negative 3, this times negative 3, and we're going to get this equation right here. We get negative 6x, this times negative 3 is negative 9y, and then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And then we'll just slide this one right over on top of that right there, and then check it out. They'll cancel each other out, so we can just go ahead and add these equations together, and when we add them together... We have negative 4y equals 4, so y equals negative 1. We can plug in y equal negative 1 into the red guy here, into the blue guy, or any one of these original equations right here. I think I plugged it into um, uh, the bottom one, yeah, right here, because it's nice small numbers. Everything's positive right here. So plug in y equal negative 1 right there. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and we, get, uh, we add 3 to both sides. We get 8. And then so x equals 4. Don't forget our answers are always x, y, so 4 comma negative 1, okay? All right, let's try another one here. Okay, so here we can make these both uh, uh, 4x and negative 4x, or this uh, 11y and a negative 11y. I think we'll do the, we'll multiply this by negative 2 to get negative 4x right here. So this times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, just the whole equation times negative 2, and that's what we get. And then we can slide the other equation down over there, and then now that they're ready to add, and so the, the 4x and negative 4x cancel, and we get 9y equals 27, so y equals 3. Okay, plug in y equal 3 into any equation. This one's nice and easy right there. So 2x plus 3 equals negative 9. Subtract 3 from both sides. Careful, negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. And then so we get x equals negative 6. Don't forget x comes first, x comma y, so negative 6, 3. All right, let's try this one here. Okay, we can make these both uh, 6 x's by multiplying this by 3 and this one by negative 2. Or you can multiply this one by negative 3 and this one by positive 2. It doesn't matter. Or we can multiply this by negative 2 and get negative 10 y, and that'll cancel out that positive 10 y. And I think it's easier just to multiply one equation. Okay, so everything times negative 2. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, and we get this guy right here. And then we can slide the other one right below it right there. Okay, and then so the 10y and negative 10y cancel each other out. And negative 4x plus 3x is negative 1x equals negative 9. When we add these together, we get negative 9. So uh, x equals positive 9 right there. Plug in x back into that top equation, 2 times uh, uh, 9 is 18. So if we subtract 18 from both sides, and then uh, 3 minus 18 is negative 15. So y equals negative 3 xy so we get 9 negative 3 right there okay uh, okay here you guys we got to change both equations so here we can make them both 12x so uh, or make these both 10y's um, right here so uh, I think it's uh, I'm gonna stick since this one's already negative I think I stuck with um, uh, I, yeah I I multiply this equation times 3 because I'll get positive 12x right here. So uh, i got to multiply this by 3 is 15y. This by 3 is 105. So there it is right there. Then we'll multiply this equation times 4 because that'll get me a negative 12x. It'll cancel out with that positive 12x. Everything times 4. Okay, now they're ready to add together right there. So when we add those guys together... 
we get 23y equals 69 and that gives us 3 so plug in that 3 back into that bottom equation and then subtract 6 from both sides and um, uh, we get uh, x equals 5 so we get uh, uh, 5 comma 3 on that one alright let's try a couple of application problems here so let's solve the problems by multiplying first All right. So don't let these scare you. They give you the equations in this uh, module, you guys. The next module, uh, module 12, we've got to generate them. But so far, we're looking good. So Jessica uh, spent $16.30 to buy 16 flowers. The bouquet contains daisies uh, that cost $1.75 each and tulips, which cost $0.85 cents each. Okay, so here's the equations they gave us. So... So we bought 16 flowers, so daisies and the tulips total 16 flowers. And then the money is $1.75 for the daisies, $0.85 cents for the tulips. I thought tulips were more than daisies, but who knows? I like flowers. Anyway, so here's the money part right here. So we have two equations with two unknowns. So uh, that system models the situ situation where D is the daisies and T is the tulips. So how many of each type of flower? So... What we can do is make these both uh, 1.75 and negative 1.75, or this uh, 0.85 and negative 0.85. I like smaller numbers, so uh, we'll multiply the first equation by negative 0.85, and that's going to cancel out with this positive 0.85. Okay, so here it is right there, and then we'll add the equations together. Okay, so we'll multiply that and then add them together. All right, so 16 times negative 0.85 is negative 1360. Now they're ready to add because these guys will cancel out right here. Okay, so when we add them together, we get uh, 0.9D equals 2.70. And then just think if we move this decimal over one place to the right, right there, then it becomes 9D. So that means move this over one place to the right. So 9 goes into 27 three times. So we bought three daisies. Don't forget, um, uh, we got to solve how many tulips. So we plugged it into that. So we get 13 tulips. So don't forget to answer it in the context of the question here. So Jessica bought three daisies and 13 tulips. All right, let's try another one here. The Tran family is bringing uh, 15 packages of cheese to a group picnic. Cheese slices cost uh, $2.50 per slice. Yowie. Expensive, huh? And then cheese cubes cost $1.75 per package. Okay, whoops, per slice, I'm sorry, per package. Whoops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and they, they spent a total of $30. Now remember, they'll give us these equations right here. So here's the equations that represents this, where S is the number of packages of, of cheese slices, and, and C is the number of packages of the, the cheese cubes. So how many of each type do they do? Okay, so we can multiply by either negative 2.50 or negative 1.75. I like smaller numbers, so... Uh, we'll multiply the first equation by negative 1.75 to cancel out the C's and then add. Okay, so there it is right there. And then when we add, we get that. And when we divide by negative 0.75, uh, we get uh, S equals 5 right there. Okay, and then uh, plug in S equals 5 right there. So 5 plus C is going to give us 15. So we get C equals 10. Let's answer the question here. So they bought 5 packages uh, of sliced cheese and 10 packages of cheese cubes. Yum, yum. Okay, if you are in my class, I'm going to assign that for your homework assignment. Hey, and if you got this far, would you guys click like and take care, you guys.